All right, we got some updates. We've got recruiting news to talk about, and we got some injury updates. Brent Venables just told uh, some uh, writers, some reporters, the good and the bad and the ugly. So we're going to dive into that. First, we'll lead off with injury updates, and then we're going to talk recruiting because yesterday, Fong dropped a couple Fongs for a couple recruits that look like they may be coming to Oklahoma and We've got a date for one of them. So we'll dive into all of that over the next, hopefully no more than 10 minutes. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thanks for pulling up to the channel. We appreciate you doing what you do best. Hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Love to have you join this great family of college football fans. As we always drop in all kinds of news around OU football and college football in general. And of course, having a blast doing it. But I digress. Let's move on to the news itself. So first off, let's talk about the injury updates that have come down the line for the Sooners after the Red River rivalry against Texas. We had three players that actually had four players that kind of went down and two of them actually have an injury update. The other two, they're fine. So the two that are fine, Billy Bowman, Billy Bowman, Gentry Williams, um, Gabe Eichert on the Oklahoma Breakdown stated that it looked like Gentry was dehydrated, and that's why he came out, went back, you know, got the IV stuff, came back in, and he was out there hanging out and partying with the team after the victory. So we were good on that. And Billy Bowman, I think he just shook himself up, hit too hard, and took himself out of the game. But he came back, and he's good. So those who are solid, but the two big injuries that hit us, was Andrew Anthony Jr., wide receiver, the transfer from Michigan, our leading receiver, as well as McKay Matower, the uh, right guard, our starting right guard, who came out the game late in the second half. And so it looks like McKay Matower is in the best case scenario that Coach BV stated, probably a couple weeks out. Doesn't look like there's any real injury negative on the x-rays and everything looks like he's just a massive sprain on the ankle and so he will be out for a couple weeks which is not a bad thing let him rest up we can get healthy and keep that competitive depth going for the rest of the season and so mckay we're good but the unfortunate the ugly news here is we did lose Andrew Anthony to season ending injury Uh, bv did not mention what the injury is i'm assuming it's a knee And so, because it looked way where he was grabbing in the limp. So, Andrew Anthony is done for the season. So, that's unfortunate. So, now it's next man up. And I hate it. I hate it for Andrew. He was having a breakout season. I know his pops watch. Mr. Anthony Sr., sorry to hear about your son. That that hurt me. That hurt my heart that he is out for the season, man. He's having a breakout season. Coming from Michigan, we were using him the way he needed to be used. And boom! Thought we was going to get some major stuff, right? And unfortunately, we're not going to get that out of him. So prayers up to Andrew. We'll get him back next season. Hopefully, he'll be nice and healthy, good recovery, and then he can be a part of this elite wide receiver room going into the SEC in which as long as he's got that speed, baby, we're good. So uh, that's the injury updates. But I wanted to dive into recruiting. I was gonna make I was making this video about recruiting, and then the injury updates came down from George Stoya and the On Three crowd. Thank you, George, for that. We appreciate it. Friend of the show, he's been on here before. We're gonna get him back on soon. And so let's talk about recruits, though. Let's talk about recruits because we got two recruits. Steve Wolfong over on twenty four seven. He's infamous for dropping what we call a fong where he puts in his crystal ball to players coming to your school. And guess what? We got two players that he dropped on that list. And so we're going to dive into that. Let's look at this crystal ball. So, of course, we're excited because why? We got Michael Boganowski as well as Eddie Pierre-Louis. Athlete as well as offensive lineman that Fong has said he thinks they're coming to Oklahoma. Based upon his intel, he puts in his crystal ball. Fong is one of the higher percentages out there in the 90s. He's 91.62 uh, for the 2024 cycle and 91.62 for his career. So he's really good at it. But Eddie, there was a battle between us and UCF and then with Boganowski, us in K-State. So let's dive into Boganowski first and then we're going to jump into Eddie pierre Luis. Now, here's a number for Boganowski, about 6'2", almost 200 pounds, and he's uh, on Rivals, he's a four-star. 247 has him as a cons- consensus four-star, while, while on three has him only as a three-star. 
neither here nor there. I'll tell you this about Boganowski, and this is why Oklahoma wanted him. He's built to play the cheetah, linebacker or safety. He's listed as a linebacker on here, but I believe he's being recruited to play cheetah. He's a hitter. And so as you're watching this film on him, he likes to hit. And that is why we were going after him. Uh, We're adding to this room to where defensively we are leveling folks. And I mean leveling. I'm talking leveling. And Michael knows how to wrap up. He has to hit folks. You saw how physical we were against Texas and how we swarmed for the tackle and how we made the tackles. That's the type of player that Boganowski is and that type of player that we need in order to make sure that we're getting the holistic view of what Oklahoma's trying to be. Coach Brent Venables is putting together an elite defense. And that staff with him, Ted Roof, give Ted Roof some, you know, give him some love because he does a great job of recruiting. Tossing in there with Brandon Hall, Jay Valai, Chavis, as well as Bates. We're doing it. Skalski, which is the uh, graduate assistant coming from Clemson and him working closely with BV as well as with uh, Coach Ted Roof on those linebackers, man. We're building some special stuff on the defensive side of the ball. We're swarming. We're hungry. And we're not stopping. And so that's something to keep you keep in mind when you see what we recruit. Boganowski is one of those players that adds to the list of elite players that Oklahoma's going after. So I'm, of course, excited. I'm stoked that we're getting another hitter if he commits. And the best part about Bogonowski is he's giving us a date. He will commit on the 19th, which is in about 10 days. If you're watching this when I drop it, but you know, it's we change away. So commitment date on the 19th, four o'clock junction city high school, because he's from the KC from junction city, Kansas area. And so we're stealing some players out of the backyard of Kansas state, you know, trying to take away the good athletes they're getting. Cause remember, Coach BV, Brent Venables, play linebacker Kansas State out of Kansas as well, and they're really good at getting those players. And so we're snatching them up. But that is Michael Boganowski. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what your thoughts are. How you feeling about us getting Bogo? Hey, remember, the players that we're getting are for a reason. So don't trip on too much. Just understand that we're building something special here, right? So let's move on to the offensive line. Beaten Bow's been after this player for a while. And I'm going to be honest. When I saw this uh, crystal ball come down, I was like, I was a little shocked because I would have not expected it. This is why. Eddie Pierre Lewis, let's look at him. Here's his measurable six foot three, 335 pounds of man. Consensus and composite four star player, top 330 player in the country. The thing about Eddie that jumped out to me the most, man, for his size, that boy is fast and i say that because as you watch this film let's watch him run track real quick look at this look at this sprint him compared to everybody else look at him go yeah you like big men that are versatile and can get it that's the big thing about eddie is he's versatile he can play interior he can play tackle we're probably recruiting him for the interior but the man can go around he's he's quick he's strong and yeah, I was thoroughly impressed when I saw him um, in his film. I'm like, okay, Tampa Catholic, Lewis Carter School, something about Eddie. We got to keep our eyes on man. And like two four seven has him ranked in the top 250 players in the country, so he's a top 300 easy. And as a composite, he can play, man. Um, he also track, so it does track and field, so you know that he's a, a track star. And he plays both tackle and guard in high school. And so I mentioned this to say this specifically. Coach Beatonbow has always been infamous for going after players that are versatile. He goes after players that can play multiple positions on the line. And that gives you that versatility of being able to move. Like right now, Caden Green is playing guard because McKay Matower went down. You can only do that if you have players that are versatile enough to play both, especially if they're talented. Caden Green's going to be a starting left tackle for this team going forward. And you can see, I'm telling you, he's getting drafted. That's how good of a player he is. So you bring in a player like Eddie Pierre Luis, who's someone that you can mold into what you want. That's what beating boat goes after. So that's why I said that versatile players, he gets players he can mold and build into what he wants to. And boom, this is another one of those athletes. So, you know, I'm excited. I'm stoked at the fact that we're getting another athlete and uh, hopefully we can uh, see something special out of him. That's EPL. 
That's Michael Bogonowski. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what your thoughts are on these recruits. We're anticipating some some commitments coming this week and next. So crossing our fingers and toes. If you made it this far, you like the content, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. As well as hit the share button. Why? Because sharing is caring. We like to get this content out there for the people. We love the support you all give us. So YouTube says watch one of these videos. I highly recommend it. One of the new ones that we've dropped. You guys can enjoy it. And uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.